Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rebecca Rice, and I teach family photographers how to gain a life of financial freedom through a thriving photography business. Today, I'm going to share my screen and show you how to do a head swap really easily in Photoshop. So if head swaps scare you or you're just not sure how to do them, hopefully this video brings you clarity and um, just shows you that it's not as hard as it looks. So I'm going to share my screen and I can't wait to show you how to do this. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified when new videos go live every single week. Before I share my screen, I wanted to tell you about a free class that I have available just for you guys. It's called the five steps to launching your photography side gig. So if you love photography and you've been doing it as a hobby and you want to take that step to make it an official business, this class is for you and it's completely free. In there, I walk you through the steps that you need to be taking to make this thing legit and I know that it's going to be helpful for you. So like I said, it's completely free. The link is down in the description so you can sign up, choose the date and time that worked best for you, and um, I know it'll be helpful for you. So can't wait to see you there. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now so that you can watch how we do a head swap in Photoshop. Okay, so I'm here in Photoshop and we have this really cute picture. Um, both of the younger boys are looking and smiling and we have Evie here who was like talking or something. And so thankfully I got another shot where Evie has a really cute smile. Um, Rhett still has a cute smile, but Graham over here was not so much. And so, and I actually like Caitlin's smile here better instead of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Evie's head from this photo and we're going to move it over here because everybody else is awesome over here except for Evie's face. So um, I'm going to go into Photoshop and I'm going to use my quick selection tool right here and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and all I'm going to do is click and drag around to select Evie's head and I usually do like head and shoulders just so that it's like you know, I can erase as needed and that looks good. Um, and then I'm going to just hit command J on my Mac, um, to have it create its own layer. And then I'm going to go right here to my move tool and I'm just going to grab it. So there's Evie's head floating and I'm going to drag it over here and then let go. So now it's got its own layer. We're going to zoom in here so that we can see what we're doing. And this is the easy part. So now we just place it over. And honestly, this is pretty good. If I were to turn it off and back on, there's not much you can tell. Um, but just to be safe, I'm going to go in with my eraser tool. I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to, um, the hardness, I'm going to bring down because I want it to be softer around the edges. When you have it super hard, then it's like this, where it's like a clear cut, what you're doing. When you have it softer, it's more like this, where, um, where you affect isn't as like sharp of a, a line. And so then I'm going to just go in and specifically like around Caitlin's head, I'm just going to go in and erase a little bit. And like this line right here, we're going to erase just so that there's no like weird duplicate spots. Um, I'm going to erase right here on Caitlin's head a little bit right here because the neckline is looking a little funky and that looks fine. So then whenever I turn it off and turn it on, you can kind of see where the slight differences are of like her dress and stuff. But honestly, that's a really good um, face swap. I am going to move it over a little bit because I noticed in her braid over here, it looks like there's the duplicate. So I'm going to move it over a little bit. Perfect. And then that does not bother me. I'm looking at this braid now. This braid was the one that bothered me. This one I'm looking at now. Turn it off, turn it on, and that looks fine. So that was a super easy head swap. We're going to turn it off just to check, turn it on, and nobody would know that this was a head swap. So I feel like head swaps are often like overcomplicated and they don't have to be. It's so, so easy. Um, just go in. Um, you know, like I said, step one was to select your good head. 
Step two, drag it over here and then erase around the edges and that is perfection. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer in the video, feel free to comment them below and I would love to help. And one more time, if you haven't liked this video, go ahead and do that just to help us out with the YouTube algorithms. That way, if other photographers just like you can find this video and get help as well. So that's all we got for you. Don't forget to sign up for that free class that I mentioned at the very beginning. It's linked in the description along with tons of other resources that I know will be helpful for you. We'll see you next week.